I'm Donna Sharman, and I had a stroke in November uh, 9th, 2013. I'm also a PACER, which stands for Patient and Community Engagement Intern. And I'm Andy Sharman, I'm Donna's husband, and I'm a support person of a stroke survivor. Well, I really can only remember little pits, pieces of this, so I think it's better if my husband can speak to that because he was the first person that came on scene uh, after my stroke. Well, the, f the first couple of hours, uh, the, the stroke was early in the morning. It was a massive stroke, and I found my wife on the floor probably five to ten minutes after it happened. Um, she had all the signs that you look for in the stroke, with the, the, the drooping face, the incoherence, uh, semi-conscious, those kind of things. Knew it was a stroke, called EMS. Um, they were fantastic, got her to the hospital within about an hour, hour and a half. We were met at the hospital by Dr. Hill. Uh, in, in retrospect, now I understand the EMS emailed in, or phoned in, whatever. So Dr. Hill and his stroke team were waiting for us. Uh, tremendous service, incredible service. They took her into emergency, and that's when the swarm hit, which is Dr. Hill's stroke team. Um, and they were amazing too, because although they seemed to be going absolutely everywhere, there was no panic, there was no worry, there was very high efficiency. They knew what they were doing, and I knew they were, they were doing. Um, but you could tell from what they were doing, their eyes, their actions, Donna's actions, that this was extremely serious and that, that we were in a lot of trouble. Well, I think very, quite simply, I wouldn't be here today if it was not for the endovascular treatment uh, therapy. Um, or if I was here, I believe there could be a lot of deficits uh, that I would have, so I am just so thankful that that endovascular therapy treatment was available to me and for me, and that it was done that quickly. I believe my outcome is, is um, just as good as it was before, or even better. I think we've, we've said that I'm doing many more things even than I was before. Life is back to more normal. It can be different, but it is back to where I would like it to be. And um, I believe, again, it was only as a result of that treatment the out due to the outcome. Research, I think, continues to move forward and continue to develop ways to assist people um, so that, the, you know, that people would not have to suffer. And I think this could be a huge cost saving to, to the economy and to the, system, the health systems. But we need to keep pushing science. We need to keep research going. We need to keep um, making this available um, to other people. And from my point of view, I, I, uh, I'm incredibly and immensely proud of what Donna has done with the situation she found herself in. From, from a lady that probably should have died from the stroke that she had, to be able to be so involved in research with Alberta Health Systems, with Foothills, uh, with the University of Calgary, I, I hope in, in some ways it serves as an inspiration for other patients to do the same thing.